Hello and welcome to my daily challenge on bow contact. Now the first thing I'd like you to do is picture a rocking horse. I want you to picture that rocking motion going back and forwards. And that image is going to really help us with our challenge today. So every bow has this magic balance point where we find it and hold it, it'll balance like so. But every bow is slightly different, but it tends to be near the lower half of your bow. And once you've found that, I want you to clock where it is, and we're gonna now transfer to our most beautiful bow hold, and placing our bow on the string around where that balance point was. And when I'm placing the bow on the string, I want to be roughly in between the end of the fingerboard and our bridge, like so. And then using that image of the rocking horse that we just created, we are literally gonna rock our bow gently up and down all four strings. Really feeling the difference from being on your lowest string all the way up to your highest. Now, if you find your bow starting to skate or move, don't worry, I want you to picture that there's something sticky on your bow like honey or glue, okay? And really sink that bow in the string, but not so much that we're causing pressure or tension just enough for that bow to be able to balance and rock gently from side to side. My challenge for you is to practice this every time you get your instruments out. So we're building a relationship with a contact in the string here. And maybe you can do it with your eyes closed, or you can increase the speed. So we do a fast up version and then do a really slowed down version, all the time looking at how those strings are sinking as the bow lands. And for those more advanced, maybe you can challenge yourself by changing into a different part of the bow. So for example, the middle and feeling the difference in control there. And lastly, at the tip, which is a lot harder.